everyone, this is Jane, and this is my healthy habit number 25. Now, this one is a tough one for some people. This is to stop the sugar addiction. Now, as modern humans, we have access to sugar whenever we want it, all day long. First time, first thing we get up in the morning until we go to bed. If we get a sweet tooth in the middle of the night, we can get up and we can eat pretty much anything we want. And a lot of times people reach for sugar because it tastes good, our body craves it. And you might not realize this, but sugar is just as addictive as cocaine. It lights up the same part of your brain. And this is why when you start eating it, it's so difficult to stop because it is literally addictive. Now, the thing with sugar is that not only is it in everything and we can get it so easily, sugar damages all of the systems of our body. It ages you, it feeds cancer, it messes with your digestion. It does all kinds of havoc on every single system of your body. And when you're able to finally break this addiction, your health will explode. Your skin will change. Your digestion will change. The way you sleep will change. And you won't have to beat yourself up every time you overindulge. You know, for me, I, I got to eat pretty healthy and pretty clean when I was growing up because that was my parents. That's what they did. And they fed us kids a lot of bulk foods, uh, veg, veggies and fruits and lots of uh, potatoes and bread. And, but we didn't get a lot of sugar and a lot of candy. But after I left the house, during my 20s and about half of my 30s and a little bit further, I ate a lot of sugar. And I was about 40 pounds overweight for most of that time. And I was really lucky about a year before I turned 40, I read a book called Fats That Heal and Fats That Kill. And you'd think that this would be a book about only fats, but in the middle of this big, thick book, there was one paragraph that talked about the damages to your body of sugar and how it feeds cancer and how it causes diabetes and how it ages you. And I had this serious light bulb moment, which I'm so grateful for because I know you hear about these and sometimes we wait for these moments, especially if we're addicted to something that damages us. And I, at that point, I took out sugar and everything that had sugar in it, breads and pastas and ketchup and anything that had sugar. And I took it out of my diet 100%. And within 60 days, I lost 40 pounds. Now, this has been 20 years. This has now been more than 20 years because I'm a couple of weeks away from 60 now. And sugar, while I'll still indulge every now and again, I'm not addicted to it. So that... That is the thing, is to get yourself unaddicted, experience the benefits in your body of how you feel, and then you can say, okay, now I know how to control this, because that gets to be the problem. I mean, I remember I went through almost two decades of not being able to control my sugar addiction. You know, I would go to the grocery store, and I would get three or four donuts, and I would eat them before I got home, so that no one knew I even bought them. And I would make up a batch of chocolate chip cookies and I would eat a whole tray, literally. And it would make, my, it would make me sick. And every time I did this, I would swear that I would start, I would go cold turkey the next day. I was going to do whatever it took. And I might be good for a few days and I might even be good during the week. And then on the weekend, I would blow it again. And every Monday for years, <laughs> I would do this. And if you can relate to any of that, um, you know that this addiction is very, very tough. And here's one of the things, too, that makes it hard. When we give someone um, a gift, it usually comes with, with, us, with something sweet as far as when it's our birthday. When someone bakes us a cake. Someone brings us a pie. Um, maybe because we're not feeling good. They might bring us some chicken soup and a pie or a batch of cookies. Or The thing is, we equate sugar with love. And we equate sugar with tradition, which, you know, these are real things. And these are things that are hard to let go of. So what I would suggest you do is find replacements. Find something that you can do to replace it. And grab a, a, an accountability partner, you know, someone that you can say, okay, we're going to do this together. And the goal is to break the addiction so that you're, when you're around this stuff, you're not tempted. And I would say that for me now, I... I can go be in a situation and I might have a small piece of cake or I might have one cookie and then I'm done. And then it's not all the time. I'm for the most part, I don't like the way I feel, 
and I'm just not tempted. So the goal is to get yourself to that point. And um, it is hard. I will tell you, breaking the sugar addiction is hard. But I hope this resonates with you. Like, you know, it's letting out all the secrets. Like, how many, how many cookies can you eat in one sitting until, until basically you're sick and you have a stomach ache, right? So I hope this has inspired you, if you're addicted to sugar, to release this habit um, in, so that you can get some vibrant health very quickly. I mean, that is one of the most beautiful things because sugar uh, does all these things that damage your health and your health can explode very quickly when you release this addiction. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what, maybe fess up. Tell me what you're addicted to uh, in the comments below because, you know, not everybody can get through this, this life uh, to the end of their world without being addicted to sugar. So I hope you have a beautiful day and we'll see you in the next one.